uh, you know, the, the, uh, the Russians, the Ukrainians, uh, the Germans and the French all agreed to this ceasefire deal. Uh, but almost immediately after that ceasefire deal was announced, the State Department was complaining that the Russians were supplying anti-aircraft uh, weaponry to uh, those pro-Russian rebels in eastern Ukraine. I'm just curious, you know, as former CIA director, former defense secretary, you might have some insights, I would think, into uh, Vladimir Putin's mind. Uh, you, I don't know if you have a sense of his soul, but uh, as, as President Bush once famously said, but uh, what, what do you think Vladimir Putin is after uh, in the end here? Mm -hmm. And I, I, mean, I got to ask the question here, do you think he's playing with a full deck? You know, he, uh, look, he, Vladimir Putin is not a mystery. Uh, you know, we, we've seen him operate before. Uh, the intelligence community has, uh, has nailed down pretty well what Putin is all about. Uh, and Putin is all about Russia and expanding the influence of Russia. He's about uh, dividing the East from the West. He's about uh, doing uh, everything he can to uh, regain influence over the former states of the Soviet Union. Uh, and uh, he is somebody who will take advantage of, uh, of other countries and, and weakness if he sees that. Frankly, we've got to take a tougher stand against him because, you know, we're engaged now in a whole new chapter, the Cold War. The president's and not the tough enough with Vladimir Putin? the only thing he understands uh, is power. The, the, president has not been, the president's not been tough enough with Vladimir Putin? No, I, th I, think, I think the West uh, needs to, to be much tougher. Uh, the West, combined with the United States, needs to be much tougher in drawing the line on Vladimir Putin. Uh, I think we ought to be providing military aid to the Ukrainians. I think we ought to be bolstering NATO. I think we ought to be uh, doing everything we can to provide other energy supplies so that uh, Russia isn't the only country that provides energy to those countries in that part of the world. I think we've got to take a number of steps here to make very clear to Putin that he cannot just simply use military power to be able to invade and take over another country. And that includes... That uh, simply cannot be allowed to happen. And, and that includes weapons to Ukraine. Absolutely.